Alright. Let's land. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe out of cinematic camera for that. <laughs> there we go. Back at the meth lab. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm the Mr. Zog. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online festive holiday blade back grinding? Yeah. Hangouts. Ball grinding. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Even more laid back grinding, I suppose. So if you guys uh, missed our part one of this episode, you might want to watch part one first, the previous episode. Otherwise, we're going to continue on. So yeah, this is kind of part two of that. So I guess it's going to be a part two after all. I wasn't sure when I started it. But yeah, we crashed our boat. And so here we are back at the meth lab. Yeah, and it looks like it moved more back. I don't know, maybe it just finally adjusted the amount that was missing. Hmm, hard to say. But yeah, yeah, I took a quick break and I uh, uh, resupplied a couple things, our cocaine place and our, our cash factory. Yeah, and then I sold a quick car to make up that money. A little bit back it wasn't a full load it was just a little bit more just to keep them going so let's uh sell the, the meth for the second time let's see what we get hopefully no post-op trucks uh trash trucks are again really well hmm i don't know well, it's not post-op trucks Not as nice as the boat, so I guess that's good in today's case. <laughs> but like I said, that river run is that we did in, in the first part there. That's uh, the hardest one, the most dangerous one, I suppose. It's sail day! Okay, we're throwing this stuff out with the trash. We're pick up the product and get it to the drops. Oh, there's a little bit of lag today. <laughs> well, off we go in our garbage trucks. So we did this in episode one. Yep. But now we get some more daytime footage. Now I would be tempted to, to uh, restart it again, but I don't want to suffer a second penalty. And I kind of like to show you guys how it is, you know, all authentic and whatnot. Yep. I used to edit out uh, some things for time, once upon a time. But it seems like most people don't want the shorter up videos from me anyway. <laughs> so, and I always find it harder to make a shorter video than it is to make a longer one. For me, you know, there is um, things that are difficult about a big video. You know, it's longer, uh, longer making of the video, longer rendering, longer editing, longer uploading. You know, longer uh, YouTube processing before it's ready to go. But I don't know. I find a shorter video too as its own. Uh, it's harder editing, I suppose. It's, and you'd be surprised how hard it is sometimes to make a short video, as I've discovered in the past. You know, when you've got 20 minutes worth of stuff you could tell somebody, and you gotta, you want to short it and that into a eight-minute video, <laughs> it could be difficult sometimes. You know, without just blaring out a whole bunch of information that makes no sense. Yeah. But I've always preferred the long videos anyway. Like I've said to other people before, I I make what I like. You know. I tend to watch a lot of longer videos myself. I've always preferred people that showed the whole thing. That way you can click around and find whatever part you're interested in or learning from and and watch that part. Or the whole thing. Yeah, a little bit of a day in the life, like I've said before in these episodes. Whoa. <laughs> so you guys seen that before, so maybe you guys will start recognizing these roots if we did it twice in the same episode, I don't know. It gives me a chance to do a better job in the snow. So you can see improvement. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping we'd get the single truck mission, that's always nice. Pretty sure that's all snow there. <laughs> I've never quite slid down the hill like that before. Uh, crashed through, but not quite slid like that. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it helps sometimes in the snow that I've been doing a lot of drifting cars lately and stuff like that and uh, um, a lot of muscle cars and things like that. So it helps with your handling in the snow, kind of. Oh, and I say that just before I almost hit stuff. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm driving a garbage truck here. <laughs> oh, that's not my fault. Not my fault. <laughs> yeah, so happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas coming up around the corner here. And Happy New Year. We missed our turn this time, but that's okay. Sometimes I, uh, sometimes because of traffic, like you guys just seen, I, I come up this side. And then turn around this way. And in the first episode, we went around the opposite way. Whoa. Believe it or not, I dropped it as we passed by. Oh, sharp turns just don't happen in the snow. I know it's going to send me over that way towards uh, Sandy Shores. So I kind of ignored the GPS a little bit and just head right to the runway. Where I can move along at a faster pace. And this time we'll call the Avenger again. Or actually remember to do it ahead of time. Sometimes if you get to know the spots where aircraft or the Avenger or things like that spawn in, you can time it right. So not necessarily when you're done, you know, not necessarily at the end. But uh, say right now I'm on my third drop, but it's all in the same area. So sometimes when you're on one side of town, it'll spawn in one spot. And if you're on the other side of town, it spawns in another kind of idea. So uh, you get to know those spots and then you can time it right so that you spawn it where you want it. Or better, to closer to where you want it. And then it's already there by the time you finish. That's if you think ahead of time. As you guys seen in the first time, I don't always think ahead of time. <laughs> there we go. This is a good time for your oppressor. I still have to get. I could obviously buy it, but I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to do an episode of it, but then we got into arena wars, and then we got into the um, the festive uh, update. Oh. Speaking of Avenger spawning in odd spots, usually it spawns where you guys seen me pick it up last time, just right around the corner where we just passed. Yeah, there's other spots, but uh, but they usually only happen when other players are around, so that it spawns in different places. But as far as I know, I'm alone. But nonetheless, it still happens sometimes, and uh, I kind of wish it would happen more often. Like. There's a variety of spots, but a lot of them you can't access unless you're on a busy server, if you guys know what I mean. Like, it only spawns there when there's other people quite often. But then you get it every now and again like this, and you think, well, I could have used that in other missions when I tried to get it to spawn closer. And it continues to go in that way far away spot, you know. And then every now and again it spawns closer, and you wonder, well, why wouldn't it for me before? Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, they don't really give you any choice of where they spawn. Getting some altitude. Heading towards our trucks on the map. A blue icon. I have to look it up again, but a lot of aircraft go faster at the higher altitudes. I think it's up to 900 feet or something like that. Nine, yeah, yeah, 900 feet, and then you go above that, and they start going faster. So. The game kind of has that built in. Real life is like that. You know, the higher you go up, the faster it goes. But the game isn't real life, so it doesn't have that kind of ability like real life does. So to compensate for that, the game, I guess the Rockstar has programmed them so that a lot of these aircraft, once you get to higher altitudes, you actually move along faster. If you watch your map, you can usually tell the difference. You know, you'll see how they kind of, the roads kind of pass you by and once you get to a certain height, they start moving along a lot faster. Heading down, going down. Landing gear out. Ooh, little too fast. <laughs> Engines down. Whoa. And we blew right by. 
Let's drop the engine again. See if we can push over there. And back. Sometimes I can swoop this thing right in where I want it, but other times it's just a beast. And it flies like one. But I like it. It's okay. Turn to storage. And let's grab truck number two. Or is it truck number five? <laughs> sometimes you deliver a lot of garbage. <laughs> and sometimes you don't. But you never want to deliver the mail. That's a, that's a bad day for bikers. <laughs> yeah, I like going to cinematic wherever I can. But it's much harder to do that in the snow. <laughs> but yeah, not as good as the single truck mission, but at least these trucks are much more capable than the uh, than those mail trucks, than the post op trucks. But as you guys seen in the other one, for a brief moment there, you can get stuck, so you have to watch out for that. Because of that back on it. And the, the I guess the forward bumper too. Bikers! <laughs> Excuse me. Happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, whenever I pass the lost uh, clubhouse, I always try to harass them wherever I can. <laughs> you gotta keep them on their toes, right? rival bikers and all that. The built-in in-game rival biker. Mm -hmm. all right. So yeah, part two of our laid-back grinding. Trying our second attempt at a meth sale after crashing our boat in part one. Which doesn't happen to me very often. But it does happen. Sometimes uh, you win some, you will lose some. You know? So I had to follow my own advice and quit. And then I only lose a small penalty. I don't know how much it would be. Um, like only a part of a single boat. So it's much more profitable to quit than it is to finish the mission. And, you know, I think that's kind of unfortunate, to be honest with you. Like, uh, I don't know why Rockstar built it like that, you know? I mean, sometimes, you know, you can't blame people for doing these things because, like, quitting and other stuff and restarting it because, uh, I mean, why would you do it any other way? But the real question is why Rockstar makes the missions like that in the first place. Yeah. But that begins a whole episode-long conversation <laughs> right there, uh, as we've talked about before. Oh, look at that lighting. But why they let us, like, why can't we pick our cell vehicles? Why can't we choose other ways? Why can't we use all these, you know, toys that we spend money on, that they want us to spend money on? You know, why can't we use them on this mission? Instead, I gotta drive a garbage truck, you know? But we've talked about that before. So have many other people. And Rockstar Logic, this is fun. <laughs> Every biker wants to drive a garbage truck. <laughs> I, I don't know. We missed it. So I was pressing it, as you guys see my lights. But sometimes you miss it. It's okay. In this particular case, we got to turn around, as you guys, if you guys remember from the other one. There we go. Dropped off. And now I'm going to follow that circle all the way around. And a snowy night falls. Hmm. We'll just go right across the grass here. She'll be alright. She can dig it for that spot. And around the corner. Woohoo. A bit of sliding. And away we go. Delivery. Yep, ice crystal in the snow session. <laughs> yep, crystal meth. 
Do not try that. <laughs> Sell it in the game. Yes, big profit, especially in Blaine County. <laughs> but otherwise, no, stay away. Very bad. Very, very bad. What's up, dude? <laughs> He's just kind of standing there, his backpack there. Yeah, sometimes you'll see guys like uh, getting ready to race or motocross guys and bikes and stuff like that. But every now and again, there's just a guy standing there and stuff like that. Wish they'd do more of that. It's a good world. It's even better in single player, and I wish that they would upgrade the online world to be like the single player world so it had even more random stuff just around. You know, earlier I was talking about uh, that's probably going to be an easy things that they could do, and I think I mentioned that before. That, you know, call it a, I don't know, a single player to online DLC kind of idea. But in the single player, for those that don't remember, there's more garbage and riffraff and uh, things flying around and uh, aircraft in the sky and all kinds of things all over the place. You know, just little tiny details, things that don't necessarily really matter, but they make the world feel a lot better. You know, even the aircraft in the sky, I think the Rockstar should uh, bring those back and, if anything, increase them. You know, give the uh, military more aircraft, give uh, more aircraft ooh, uh, to the civilians. Just to make it, you know, harder for people to tell who's a person or not. You know, sometimes, like, I don't know, it works both ways, though, mind you, like a griefer and an anti griefer, but nonetheless, a griefer comes along and it's really easy to tell who's you know, where the players are by all the aircraft in the sky it'd be nice if there was more aircraft traffic it wasn't so easy to tell at a glance who a player was you know that sometimes there was news choppers and police choppers and just civilian choppers and military choppers and you know traffic there's a little bit of that in the uh, single player game but not in online not much all right done and I forgot to call in our Avenger again, but that's okay. It's okay. It spawns pretty fast. Got to get that oppressor too. Now I was mentioning that before. <laughs> I lost track of what I was saying again. But uh, is it in the spot? Yeah, usual spot. But yeah, I wanted to do. Um, we got carried away with all the festive whoa stuff. <laughs> oh, I gotta anticipate the snow. I'm so used to things, so it's like, it's, you know, I'm sliding that extra foot or three feet off, you know, and it's just enough that I'm doing things like that. Because <laughs> I just don't expect it to happen until it's too late. Yeah, so, uh, we got carried away with the festive update stuff and the arena war stuff, and I'm going to do more of that. But at the same time, I wanted to do um, um, a laid back grinding where we just do some of the uh, terabyte missions. And uh, just all in one kind of thing, maybe. And uh, and then maybe get the oppressor right after the oppressor Mark II, because I think it's still a great vehicle, even though that Rockstar might have fixed that uh, speed thing that it that it could do. It's still a great vehicle, especially now, as you guys see. But I don't mind. Sometimes I I would do this anyway. I'm sure of it. You know, I'd I'd want to fly my Avenger. Sometimes it's faster than it looks like. Sometimes it feels like it's a slow-moving aircraft, like like by the looks of it, if you're looking up, but it's not. It's fast. <laughs> well, it's the correct course. So yeah, quite often I'd be calling in other stuff. I like flying my pyro. I like flying the uh, the Molotov. <laughs> yeah, when I don't call in the havoc by accident. <laughs> well, on our way back for the very last trash truck again. So, oh well, I guess it's a double trash truck day. And I don't mind. They're okay. It's, it's an okay mission. And I know that some of you guys uh, might struggle with the, that particular mission, so maybe that'll help you guys out watching me do it a couple times. Sometimes I think locations might matter. But sometimes they don't so much. I don't know. You guys will have to decide based on what you see here. I know my locations, but I don't know all the other ones necessarily, right? And they're generally the same, but sometimes they're, they, they can be a little different. Uh... I don't know, in the time it takes you, you know, to fly across town to start the mission, things like that. Simple things. Well, overshot our thing. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, she just didn't want to kick in the uh, vertical engines there. But that's okay. I'm, I can be a lot more careful. I'm just kind of treating her rough and throwing her around. Because she can take it. We can take it too. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's have a snack. Body armor, sure. simple grinding. But this has also helped building up the other businesses in the nightclub. And the bunker all over again too for that matter. <laughs> Way we go. Oh, I should probably stop at ammunition maybe one of these times and pick up some fireworks. So you guys can pick up fireworks. They bring those out in many holidays. But the fireworks quite often are different, if I remember right. Like, they're not the same fireworks that you fire. They could be different colors. So right now it's probably festive colors. Uh, as opposed to the independence, uh, blue, red, and white, you know, kind of idea. So, red, white, and blue, I should say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that works out much better. Yeah. But yeah, they do change colors. So, now... So I'm all out of fireworks, so I should probably get some more. But uh, that is part of the rewards. Quite often they fill up all your armor, like I mentioned before, you know, in the other episode. I think it was either in part one or the one before that, where we go through the festive stuff. But they, uh, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, they quite often give you a bunch of armor and they give you uh, a bunch of snacks if you need them, I guess. And, uh, and they also give you uh, fireworks, all that stuff full. And this year, as I said earlier, people are thinking that the, uh, they'll be giving you the uh, up and atomizer for free. And after the holidays, after Christmas, it'll be 399000 That's just a rumor that I've heard, but I don't know if there's any truth to that. It's hard to say for now, but it might be true and it might be worth uh, logging in on Christmas to get that. Yeah. And if you're playing on those holidays, you might want to let some of your armor go down low. You might want to let your ammo go down low. You might want to let your fireworks go down low, if you want. And uh, if you log in on those days, it should fill them all up for you, for free, and save even more. Mm, this looks nice. Very snowy. <laughs> oh, this is that one. The one I told you last time that I nor the GPS. It looks weird to me though. It looks all different. <laughs> you know, lots of parts of it look the same, like uh, kind of covered in snow, you know. But other parts like this spot looks almost different to me totally. I have to I have to double check everywhere I'm looking. Like, is it, am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. Over here? Yeah, that's, that's right. Looks so different in the snow. And spin and turn and drive. <laughs> And jump. And yeah. All right. Now we're off around the corner. I actually kind of prefer it when this uh, trash truck is the uh, last one. If you guys remember from the other one, because then I can end at the, the uh, runway. And I can call in whatever aircraft I want if I want to drive some of the other ones, or fly some of the other ones, like the pyro and things like that. Hmm. Maybe this time around we'll actually call in the Molotov that I meant to call last time. Because <laughs> I do love my Molotov. Yeah, and then, speaking of which, I probably, I don't count me on it, I don't know the future, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to buy the B-11 maybe next episode and use this money for it. And uh, speaking of the Molotov, the Molotov has an amazing air brake. A lot of people know that. You can do a lot of fancy maneuvers if you get good at the uh, air brake. And not only that, but you can go really slow in the Molotov. And uh, it sounds funny to say that, but it's actually a really good advantage. There we go. Go. It, um, it lets you uh, attack ground targets really well. 
you know, a lot of the aircraft, you uh, it's hard to slow them down without losing engine power and dropping the ground, you know, or you just blaze by so fast all the time. Sometimes you want to slow down and target things on the ground. And the Molotov lets you uh, feather the air brake and it lets you keep the engine running on generally longer than any other aircraft until the B-11 came out, the B-11 Strike Force. The uh, A-10 look-alike. Yeah. So the A-10 uh, Warthog look-alike, the B-11, is the uh, next aircraft to have that slow air brake. So it actually takes it a while to actually shut off the engines. Now, word of warning, though, I, th I think it actually takes it a second to get the engines going again, too. <laughs> but uh, but it actually uh, goes along really slow for uh, so it can do ground support better. But we'll talk more about that one when we do our B-11 Strike Force episode, whenever that is, next, or whenever I get one. I'm definitely going to get one. It's uh, such a cool plane. You know, it's a plane I'd probably just buy for the hangar, you know, just as a decoration. But I'm happy that it's actually functional on top of that. So, turning around here. Call in my vehicle. This time we want the Molotov. There we go. V65 Molotov. Like I said last time, I kind of leave this one here, this last uh, drop at the airport, so that I can come back and pick up my aircraft without having to run around or steal a regular civilian car or something like that. I still think Rockstar should uh, change that. It's kind of annoying that you can't have your personal aircraft and your personal car out at the same time. You know, maybe even a time limit, like give you like three minutes, you know, and then it could say like they're recovering this aircraft or this, uh, this car, you know, but it would give you a few minutes to swap back and forth between them. You know, it's so annoying that you can't, it's so awkward sometimes trying to switch. So I'm waiting to disband. Here we go. To avoid any raids happening elsewhere. There's our Molotov. Very cool. She doesn't seem to mind the snow at all. <laughs> okay, I'm still alone. All right, so finally we've made our meth money. Yay. All right, where should we go? finish up. Hmm. Got our Molotov now. And we've covered a lot of information, I think. On what we've shown, anyway. We'll do some more laid-back grinding in the future, guys. Like, this was kind of an unplanned uh, laid-back grinding, but I just know a lot of you guys were waiting for more. And, uh, I just thought, why not? You know, for the festivities, we could... I need to make money anyway, here and there, and empty out all the product, so... Why not do a quick, uh, festive holiday in the snow session one? Maybe we'll check in on the nightclub. See if there's a good sale ready at the nightclub. Uh oh. I haven't landed it here. <laughs> in a while. Uh, not bad. <laughs> oh, can I fit it? now? we can't fit in there, but that's okay. Uh, we don't want to get in the way of the cell vehicles, so. Now, I'm probably just going to leave, and but if I was really careful about it, I would turn the aircraft around so that when it came out, it'd be ready to fly away. Believe it or not, this aircraft probably will be able to fly out of here okay if I aim it right. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully that won't matter. We're just going to do a cell mission, and uh, we won't actually need to fly that out here. We'll just move on. <laughs> All right, into the club. Actually, no, I wanted to, uh, oh, it doesn't let me go down. I could just take the elevator, but that's okay. It's almost the same amount of time sometimes when it, when it behaves to go from here. We'll go down to basement level two for a moment. Hmm. All right. So there's our Hermes. Yeah, we moved it here earlier. 
So the Hermes was last year's Christmas car. So I did want to show you guys that. Um, I should look it up. It's on uh, it's on the Southern San Andreas website. Um, but I think it's 565, 585, somewhere around there, thousand dollars. It could be even 600,000, somewhere around there anyway, just over half a million uh, dollar car. And it's uh, actually one of the lowest, cheapest, uh, it's one of the cheapest, yeah. And it's also uh, one of the lowest, if not the lowest low rider in the game. So as you guys can see, so it has an automatic uh, hydraulic suspension, I guess you could say. As you drive along, it'll raise up. And when you stop, it'll raise back down or lower back down. So it's very cool. So that was free on Christmas Day. Yeah. Now, a lot of people remember it wasn't necessarily free. A lot of times, I think even me, uh, it charged me money. It said it was free, and then it took money. Um, but later on, Rockstar fixed that. Now, hopefully this year that doesn't happen, because the rumor has it there is going to be another uh, free car. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but I think it's another older car similar to this. Um, we'll find out. But uh, but yeah, so you, another reason you might want to log in on Christmas Day for that and see if you get a free car for that. And if you do have to pay, hopefully you guys can afford it and uh, it will give you the money for it. Now that said, uh, I had a friend and I'm pretty sure they gave people bonus money. So if you couldn't afford it, if you didn't buy it, it would just give you money. Some people actually were more interested in that anyway, just getting the money. And I think Rockstar did, did that because some people couldn't have afforded to buy it in the first place. So they lost out on the free car entirely. And then later on, they got a gift of uh, whatever the price of the car was. And a lot of people didn't know why they got that. And that was why. It was because they lost out on the free car, so Rockstar kind of gave you the money for it. That happened like two weeks or a week after. That was like a year ago, so it's hard to remember. To remember. But nonetheless, there's no, no promises, but it looks like there's going to be another free car, and you might want to log in to get that. Jaguar. <laughs> ah, holiday lights. Do 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 do. We'll step up over. Oh, not the one. Nope, right there. Right there. Yeah. That'll do. All right, well, I thought maybe at the end, but yeah, we're here now, right? Why not? Why not? Can't say no. <laughs> it's holidays. I don't think we've done that this episode, so. To you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hmm, happy New Year, too, but hopefully we'll do more episodes before that. All right. For now, we'll step away. <laughs> step away, got money to make. We could empty out our order. So we're going to empty out our safe. There we go. Don't have to do that right now. It'll hold 70,000, but might as well grab it while we're here. And I usually go down to a different floor. I should have went to business level one, but oh well. That's okay. Ah, oh, sorry. Pardon me, head cough. All right, so, um, yeah. So I like to uh, drop down the floor. That way you don't have the change DJ uh, cutscene. It saves you the time of having to watch that, and then it respawns you it on the dance floor, which is fine, but uh, it can slow you down when you're trying to just be in and out kind of thing. Yeah, we were talking about bills before, and now the moment I log into my company, see, it's waiting for me, and it charges me my bills for the uh, bunker. <laughs> if you change sessions, it, it uh, tends to avoid that. So that's my popularity bar up there. A lot of players don't worry about it. I like to keep my, uh, my club going, but I don't like doing any of the promotion missions, you know, like many people don't. Um, you know, you can do 10 of them to get the unlock price on the blimp, and then after that, there's really not much point to it, if you ask me. So from there, I just usually rebook DJs. So put at that 10 grand that we just grabbed, right back in. And uh, I'll just show you guys by logging back in again. I know it works, but I just want to show you. See, now my, my popularity is full. So you do have to reload the computer in order to see that. And that's that. 
and it just keeps it full all the time and it keeps that uh, the nightclub earnings going in and like i told people before i'd have to measure it it's hard to it's hard to count it but it, i feel like i get uh, i pocket 40 to 60 percent of the money so out of every hundred thousand that uh, that's in the safe i probably make at least 40 to 60 thousand and the rest goes to just changing djs but either way it's nice and easy and i actually make money and then i go off to sell goods so we've covered this in the uh in our in our selling nightclub missions for after hours yep and i've said it's best to do these special orders because they have a bonus 10 percent in them and you can also do sell goods and there's no more tony's uh cut of 10 percent after a million but even then if you ask me it takes a long time to fill it up all the way to basically for it to be worthwhile you'd have to wait till it's uh 1.4 million or more the maximum is around 1.6 million i think just over that but it takes a long time to fill up like a day or two you know, so of in-game time so but it's actually much easier for a lot of these they refill much sooner than certain other ones so i just find whatever's available here and uh, generally for me i stick to the ones that are good profit just because you know i've got other things running on the go yeah that i can go and do usually so let's run this one for 151,000. let's see what we get today okay time to offload some of this stuff you're yeah. making two dead drops and the third is a face-to-face -face with the buyer's people they seem pretty paranoid so look out for trouble along the way okay no 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 tony bad tony bad <laughs> what kind of a deal is this done? Do we get paid bonus for their... Ah, this is probably one of those ones where I gotta defend them too. And I don't mind, but why do I do this for free? Like, why is the delivery guy... Why am I the boss being the delivery guy, first off? And then two, why is the delivery guy free labor and free gun for hire for these people? Not even for hire, for free. <laughs> I don't know. Rockstar's choices are very strange sometimes. Very strange. Well, here we are in our Speedo Gustum. And on a good day, the Speedo Gustum doesn't turn very well. In the snow, probably even less so. So watch out for that. Woohoo. Of course, it could also be a lot of fun, I imagine, if you if you uh, plan on it sliding a lot. Anticipate long turns. <laughs> you know. So like I've talked about before, you uh, it usually gives you your gun if you have paid for it, the minigun at the top, by default. And usually you want to turn that off, you know, unless you're going to use it. Because it will cause um, all the other traffic, the civilians, to go crazy. You know, they see it as a gun being pointed right at them. So um, if you've ever wondered why all those guys keep crashing into you, you know, it might be because you got your minigun turned on. So if you turn it off, like I have to my AP pistol, then we're good. And if I needed it, I'd just quickly switch over to my machine gun, and then I'd use it again from there. Is it back here? Oh, these ones. Some of these nightclub missions, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but they never have these yellow Coronas, so... Which is good, I guess, but it's weird that, you know, like all the other missions do, so why does this one not? But then you gotta guess, where's the drop spot, you know? Where am I going? <laughs> yeah. Which can be a bit of a pain when you're learning it. Now, those guys the buyer was worried about, take them out if they get too close. Oh, that's that's awesome, Tony. We're going to have a talk in the new year. <laughs> so, now I've turned down my minigun. Those guys are way back there, though. They may not even catch up for me, to me. So I've told you guys before, you can fight them, but um, sometimes I find it's just best to keep going. You know, you'll be done sooner. Sometimes they never really catch up to you. Sometimes they, uh, I don't know, I, I guess we call it glitch out. You know, they get stuck in places. They, they uh, somehow don't keep up with you. And quite often they're more likely to spawn again in front of you. So. Now some people prefer to fight them, and then it's out of your way, but... Many times I actually find they really don't get in the way. As long as uh, you don't stop and stuff. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I might put the mines back on these things, actually. 
So the mines now work, even with a the plow. They fixed that with the very last update with the arena wars that just came out. So for those of you that didn't hear that, you can uh, now use the mines again on these kinds of uh, vehicles again without having to worry. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to stop right here because they're right up here. I seen them on the map right around the corner. I didn't want them to catch me, them at the high ground, you know. They chop me down maybe. <laughs> but it's hard to shoot over the hill, so it's easier just to wait for them or get to up the hill before they get there. But they were already there first, so. So we just let them come to us. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, let's switch over my gun. Though here comes those guys again, but they're distance off. Uh oh, snow. They're distance off, but I'm slow in the snow. Slow in the snow. Yeah, so um, other nightclub tips and stuff it would be that, uh, you know, for those that don't know, these, these cell missions are, are um, or these cell vehicles, I should say, in my van here is improved strength. So whenever you're on these cell missions, these vehicles are buffed up. They're not the normal one that sits in your garage. Oh, here we go. Last drop. So they look the same, but they're not the same. And they can handle a lot more damage. So the regular ones, one explosion destroys them. Oh. Keep going. Keep my foot on the gas. <laughs> look out. Christmas Grinches. Stuck on him. Get out of him. <laughs> now I've shown in some other uh, videos too that you know when you're fully armor plated like this, they can quite often keep shooting you with a small arms fire, and it doesn't actually really do any damage to uh, to the vehicle when it's all buffed up, like I said. So quite often they could do that to me all day, all across the map, and the van would be just fine. You do have to watch out if they get close to you, though. If you stop, if you get, yeah. If they rammed me and I came to a stop, then they might be able to shoot me at point-blank ranges. <laughs> I wanted to get that guy. Oh yeah, I had a bounty on me, yeah. I said I mentioned I took a quick break and resupplied things and I got a five grand bounty on me from stealing a civilian car. But those bounties do, uh, if nobody kills you, they uh, they do end up in your pocket. Yeah. So they're extra money. Which adds up over time, I suppose, I suppose, when you're playing for a long, long time like I have. Like many other players have. Many players have played much longer than I have, I, I bet. Yeah. As I've said before, I, I played once upon a time, like years ago, I played the single player. Um, it wasn't until there was certain DLC that you could only play online. And like a lot of other players, that kind of lured me all the way onto the online world. Well, like we were talking about earlier, in many ways, the single player world is superior to the online world. It really is. N not so much anymore, though, in many ways, because now they've got all kinds of things to do in the online world, right? You know, you've got businesses to run and all. <laughs> And uh, snow sessions that Rockstar has made for us. And, uh, you know, biker clubhouses and all kinds of cool stuff now. But they still lack some things like wildlife, no animals, you know. Don't know why they left that out. Some people thought it was because Rockstar was unsure of it, but I'm not sure why they would be like that because it's in single player anyway. And uh, Red Dead Redemption kind of proves they don't have any issues with. Uh, with your horse getting it. <laughs> you know. Oh, this is one of the ones where we're defending Hola. them. Hola. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I don't even get the gun, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, over there. Whoa. This is my Who the heck was shooting? I'm gonna fuck you up now. You hear me? You motherfucker. You tell him. In case you're wondering, she's talking to these guys that are way far away. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, that was like a bad guy. They're civilians. 
Where are these guys? I was speaking about these guys are kind of, yeah, idiota. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look over here. But these are some pretty bad AIs. I guess we'll wait. See that guy behind me. Where? Ah. Take that and that. Merry Christmas. <laughs> South Pole Elf to the rescue. Apparently for free today, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. So really, there's more of them still. Uh, these guys. Oh. Yeah, they got a civilian trying to interfere. And another runaway. Tell him. Back to my associate, more importantly, my delivery. You and Tony Gracias. Prince are people we can rely on. Thank you. Catch you later. Yeah. Well. Let's head out of here. Mm, yeah. Sure. Our quick getaway havoc. He shouldn't have messed with things he didn't understand. <laughs> Civilian there. Every now and again you just get somebody who's armed and decides to do something about it. <laughs> Alright, so leaving the area and get our money. Good soul. Tony's cut for sending us out for free, doing all the work, and he makes fifteen thousand of that. <sighs> hey, hey! You made the sale. Yeah. You got the money running through the tills, and in a minute you'll have receipts for everything, minus the laundering fee, of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, got to keep our Christmas spirit. We'll talk to him in the new year. Don't know how much good it'll do. But Rockstar fixed that fee. He should be. Demote it down to 5 or 2%. <laughs> Our partnership has issues. <laughs> Alright, so now we've done the nightclub. How are we doing? 2.9 million, that's alright. And uh, I bet you cocaine and stuff and all that stuff's ready too. should do a uh, see if we can use that we talked about the uh, the laser and I never got to show it to you yep I haven't even fired a shot yet so you guys are gonna get to see it there it is up an atomizer seven jets I have no idea why I have it unlocked it just was there like I said I thought it was part of arena war yep no idea and now I'm hoping that I'll 
either keep it or Rockstar is still going to give me a chance to unlock it. But people say it's going to unlock for free on Christmas anyway. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> what would be a good target for this? Hmm. Maybe we should use a, a headhunter. Hmm. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Maybe another time. But I'm sure it works out, but you can't actually buy any more ammo for it for now. Although people think it will be in the future. Oh, let's go buy some uh, fireworks, actually. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. There's an ammunition. Did you see that Miranda Cowan second page? Hey. All right, so you find the uh, more fireworks ammunition way over here on the right side, right there. I think it depends on the uh, weapons you that, like that you have human. showing up here. Best so it might uh, be a little bit higher. But you'll see it. It's a fireworks launcher. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get a few more rounds of that. I bet you'll be ready to use that the second you get out the door. Yep, he knows us. <laughs> so it's better at night, but that's okay. Looking forward to getting ripped later. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so don't forget to get some of that. If you haven't before. Wow. Sends things flying. Martin? I'm so sad you don't take my offer as often. <laughs> don't need your help. I got a lazy guy. But apparently I don't have the library for it though. Hmm. Very strange. <laughs> That's awesome. Quit. All right, cops are gonna show up here any second, and we'll uh, we'll uh, try out the uh, the laser beam on them. Yeah, they lack Christmas spirit. The Grinches of Los Santos. LSBD. That's yep. Oh. Well, it's kind of like shock. Just kind of like blows things off. <laughs> ah, it's so much fun. Yeah, they're dead. Oh no, he's still alive. He is still alive. Oh, me too. <laughs> that did not work as planned. <laughs> well, now you guys have seen it. And it still says 7 out of 7, so I don't know what that means, but we're not actually using up our ammunition yet. Whatever that 7 out of 7 means. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Wow, you can just do devastating things when things are already moving along. Oh Has that cool boom sound effect. Oh, shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't have, uh, you don't have to worry about getting too close. Looks like he's out of range. <laughs> well, that is fun. Yes, my 
car. What? <laughs> Seems to dock him right out, too. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Oh. 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 <laughs> Well, so much of that. Oh, they impounded my personal vehicle. See, what did I tell you guys? Scrooges pounded personal vehicles at this time of year. Who does that but the LSPD? Assistant, Jenny, help me out. I'm by my machine. Good. That shouldn't be a problem. Thank I'll you. have your personal vehicle collected as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Penny. Well, guys, I think that covers everything. So now we use the up and atomizer. You guys can see what it was, what it can do, which is a lot. <laughs> it's a weird weapon, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I still got seven out of seven. All right, I think we covered everything else. Yeah, did our mess sale, um, fired some fireworks. Yeah, had a drink to you guys. Oh, and look, our cocaine's ready. That's even better. Yeah, that's the. One of the bigger money makers. It's always good when it gives us the single track. Do you think it would today? Do you think it would? Or do you think we're gonna finally see post op trucks? Yeah. Okay, we're what I tell attempting you? some discretion here. No, we're not. We are not. Not, not, not LJT. Rockstar, fix that. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to quit, and I'm going to come back here and do this later. Maybe with you guys. Maybe not. I don't know. And we're going to get that B11. So I think this is the end of our part two of, of uh, some kind of laid-back grinding and holiday hanging out. Yeah. And I'll see you guys more, or see you soon for more GTA Online episodes. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon. I'm going to quit. Take a quick break. And uh, might do some others after that. See you back here soon, everybody. Thanks for being here, and uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. Yeah, and thanks to all our Patreon fans, too. Take care, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Love you all. Happy New Year. But again, I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Maybe the whole holiday through. <laughs> I like the snow sessions. It's awesome. It's a great time of year. In-game. <laughs> LJD. What a guy.